Yo, what's going on guys? Gemini here with another tech video. And I know everyone has been talking about how good the red magic is and all the great things about the red magic. And this video is not to bash Nubia's red magic because I do have one in my possession. This video is just to bring awareness to a major issue that the phone has and how to get around that issue. So let's get straight into the video. So a little more on the issue that I'm having with the phone, right? With the Red Magic is that whenever I plug it into my setup with the Elgato, I'm using an Elgato HD 60 S plus. That is the 4K capture card. I get insane screen latency and also reduce touch sample rate on the screen. For some reason, I don't know why it happens. I tested it in mul on multiple games called Call of Duty Mobile. Um, warzone mobile which is in beta right and in our shock and surprise it doesn't really affect the warzone mobile that much as much as it affect call of duty mobile i try i try setting my phone screen to 60 hertz doesn't make a difference i set it to max hertz which is 120 doesn't make a difference it's still latent it's still laggy or choppy in especially multiplayer for some weird reason so i set out on a mission to figure out my way around this and all that now what you'll need is of course your red magic currently i'm using the nubia's red magic 7 pro all right not the 7s pro the 7 pro this is a beast phone not gonna lie it is a beast phone it's a great phone 960 touch sample rate and all that 120 hertz refresh rate screen all that beautiful stuff right and you'll need the power cable that comes with it, right? Just a power cable and also a setup like mine. To get into the solution of this, you got to first understand the three different capture methods or projection methods in this phone, which we're going to get into right now. Now, as I was saying, the three types of connection that you can use to cast your screen or project your screen is wireless, USB and HDMI. Now the HDMI is when it's connected to your adapter, right? And plugged into an Elgato, which is what is giving the issue right now. The HDMI projection is what's causing the main issue. Now the wireless is pretty much self-explanatory. You're going to do it over um, a wireless network, Wi-Fi, which requires a very fast internet. I would not recommend that because there's always some audio delay or some sort of issue when it comes on to wireless um projection right and you can scan the code as you can see right here it gives you a bunch of detailed instruction as to what to do scan a barcode and you can search for the cast where you could cast a tv or whatnot and as you can see the hdmi casting is pretty much as i said i explained it when you're basically hooked up to your adapter which hooks up to your elgato or your capture card and to your pc the last but definitely the most important one that we'll be covering right now as to how to get around this issue with the red magic is the usb screen casting right this is the one that you'd use to get around it so as you can see it gives you detailed instructions right on how to do this i would recommend using the cable that comes with the phone because it's a high speed cable and also um the cable used to charge at very high wattage it's the best cable you if you can get like third-party cables then i would recommend you going on amazon to check for thunderbolt 4 cables decent length because you're gonna have to have a, like a decent length right if you have a pc setup like mine you're gonna need a decent length to work with now for this you need to download a software on your pc which is called red magic studio the link will be provided in the description we are going to need to download it if you need this this whole setup to work now this is basically how the red magic studio looks it's pretty much like um pretty straightforward you could go wireless as it shows right here or you could go usb that's just the two connections now you wouldn't need the red magic studio for the hdmi connection because obviously you'll be channeling it through your elgato so you wouldn't need the red magic studio for anything the elgato will basically be the thing controlling all the input and output feed towards your pc right so as you can see right here i have already have it pre-installed 
and if you have a type c port on your pc or laptop whichever you're using as i do then you're gonna want to just go ahead and so to get started on the process first you want to plug in the phone into the cable which is going towards your pc usb type c connection if you have like a usb a connection i would recommend i'm using as i said a high speed cable and plug it into a 3.0 port right a usb 3.0 and above port when you plug into the phone it's gonna give you a prompt as to what you want the device to act as now you can do file transfer and after you plugged in the phone it's gonna give you a prompt as you can see right here after pulling down your screen you're gonna see um the different types of connection now it says usb debugging connected now you're gonna click the second drop down and it says tap for more options as you're gonna see right here it's gonna show you four different options right as to what you want the phone to act as towards the pc now what you're gonna have to do is go ahead and select usb casting all right once you have done the usb casting you're gonna go on your pc and you're gonna select usb on the red magic software that you have installed the red and once you have done that you see that it pops up right on the screen like that basically your phone screen start projecting and here on you can even use your mouse you could use your mouse to control the phone because i'm just using my mouse to scroll right now i'm actually not using my fingers to scroll i'm using the mouse right and all that to control the phone right now after that you're just gonna leave that window open don't do anything to the window leave it as it is don't if you close it then obviously it's gonna stop casting if you minimize it it's gonna stop casting if you try to reduce it like the size of it it's gonna stop casting just leave it in the background like that next up you're gonna just load up your game right right and as you can see it's it's projecting here i'm gonna show you how to get it on um streamlabs all right i'm gonna show you how to get it on streamlabs i can see i can use my mouse to basically x off all that stuff that's going on right now i'm gonna show you actually how to get this on streamlabs all right so after you have loaded up streamlabs i'm using streamlabs currently create a window capture right create a window capture source select this drop down at the top right here and you'll see it says red magic studio main or red magic studio video whichever works so i just click on the main right it should show up like this and as you can see it's literally just projecting my um my phone right now right it's projecting my phone now the capture method i set the windows 10 and up and i set it to match title or whatever the rest of stuff you can uncheck or whatever now you're gonna click done you're gonna click done and it should pop out like that right now you can set it to stretch the screen or fit the screen whichever you work if you have an overlay then you could go ahead and just add it like that all right now as you can see that's basically what it looks like all right it does, it's not gonna have these that red magic sign and whatnot up top it's not gonna have that i'm just doing this because of i'm trying to show you how it's gonna actually look all right i'm doing everything off my pc right now so basically that's it the audio is automatic right it's gonna automatically capture the audio so you don't have to worry about that right the audio is gonna automatically go to your um pc you know what i'm saying it's gonna capture everything audio and video and it's pretty fast you know it's really smooth really smooth 60 fps you know even when playing on 90 fps it doesn't affect it and you can also go ahead and activate game mode or compete mode the button on the side of the phone and it doesn't affect it yeah that's basically how you work around it now as i said you cannot close out the red magic studio um software on your pc you can't minimize it and you can't like shrink it down or anything you just leave it running in the background if your pc is good enough it can manage it you know it's not gonna do anything to it i'm not gonna ahead and show you like there's no audio delay either gonna load up a game and show you that it's literally no audio it delay as you can see i'm idiotin oh my god sniping skills are on point 
type in skills are on point right now. Never mind, I suck. Oh my god, I suck. I'm not using my thumb skills currently. But that's not the important thing. The important thing is that you guys see how well this thing is working. And that's basically your workaround to the major issue that Red Magic is having with your devices right now. Can I win this match by the way? Yeah, I can only kill bots at this point because I'm not using my thumb please. Beer back in it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright. Oh. Oh, I got that. Oh my god, the green is a granada. Oh, is that a hit marker, bro? Alright, so that's just a quick gameplay to show you guys like how, how well the thing works, how smooth it is, like no audio delay, no video delay, you know, it works perfectly fine, even with the original video running in the background. Now, I wouldn't recommend you using the Red Magic Studio to record videos, per se, like on your PC, because the quality is pretty bad, like it's awful. Even when set to max graphics, when you're going to settings and set that thing to max graphics, the quality is absolutely awful. So I would recommend you doing that. Just use your Streamlabs or your OBS to record your videos. Now, as I was saying, I do not know what's up with the Red Magic and the HDMI capture. Are you not being able to use it with your Elgato? Um, Squeeze is not having his, his, any issues with his um, OnePlus. He's using a OnePlus, I think a 6 six series one plus I, I don't remember but he's not having any issues with his um i contacted parker and asked him if he was having any, any issues like this with his asus rog phone because he's using the latest rog six phone um he hasn't reached out back to me as yet and i contacted splinter i splinter because he was using red magic and he's saying he's having the same issues with his elgato capture so I think it's a software issue. I pray to God it's a software issue where they can update it. I also contacted Red Magic team and it's been like two, three days now and they haven't responded. So I don't know what's up with that. Hey, Red Magic, you need to up your support. I love y'all. Not trying to hate, but come on. You need to up that support, man. Like, it's really bad. It's been three days and no response or anything. Not even an automated response. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty bad. Anyways, um... Yeah, as I was saying, this is just a workaround to it. It's the best workaround. I know it's frustrating if you don't have like a big monitor like mine because I actually have a big monitor. Um, and this thing playing in the background can be distracting. You know, the video playing in the background can be distracting. It, it's only sad that you have to do this. And if your PC is not good, like you can't do this. It doesn't work. Like It's literally going to crash the entire thing if, it, if your PC is not like really good at multitasking. You know multi-core performance or whatever so yeah that's basically it um i hope this video was useful for you guys i've been searching on youtube for a video like this and all i see is person talking about oh the red magic is so good and whatnot on its own the red magic is good because i streamed from the red magic using termit turnip or uh, whatever streaming app you want to use i use turnip and i have zero issues even when setting my phone to max fps 120 fps and i stream I have no issues you know i could use bypass charging and everything works perfectly on that note charging doesn't really work when you're using this kind of um screen capture mode you know what i'm saying like projection what you have to do is make sure your phone is charged to 100 percent and you turn on bypass charging it doesn't affect the projection you turn on bypass charging and you'll get like a four or five hours worth of gameplay right even on max performance on the phone when you set your phone to max performance you get like four to five hours straight of gameplay before it dies out completely and starts lagging it's a good phone it's a great phone but it's just shitty software in my opinion the software needs some major upgrading so yeah as i said i haven't seen a video like this on on youtube or anything i've searched on the entire youtube search on answers everywhere on different social medias and nothing so i hope this video reaches out to persons who are having similar issues and it can assist them. And yeah, I hope this was helpful for you guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.